Hi, I'm Yao. Hi, I'm Haven. Today, we are going to present our work on learning an animatable detailed 3D face model from in the white images. Giving a single image of a human face, our method estimates an accurate 3D model from the person's head with detailed wrinkles. We go further than previous work to make the facial details animatable. For example, here we estimate the 3D face shape expression and the details from an image. Then giving another image with a dif different expression, we transfer the expression to the first person. The key novelty is that the details are realistically animated. Here we say the detailed shape estimated from different people reposed into three expressions. Our method is called DECA, which stands for Detailed Expression Capture and Animation. DECA is learned from in the white image without explicit 3D supervision. This makes it robust so that it generalizes to a wide range of in the white image. DECA enables various applications, including facial enactment or 3D avatar creation for AR and VR. It can help with the fields of video editing, virtual makeup, or speech driving facial animation. Before we talk about our method, let's briefly review 3D face reconstruction methods. Two decades have passed since the seminal work of Veto and Blends, which first showed how to reconstruct the 3D facial geometry from a single image. Most existing 3D reconstruction methods incorporate prior knowledge about geometry or appearance by leveraging pre-computed 3D face models. By definition, a 3D morphable face model is a generative model for face shape and appearance. Both the Basel face model and Flame, for example, use a statistical model of the distribution of faces learned with principal component analysis. Like us, several coarse shape reconstruction models learn to estimate the parameters of such statistical shape models from in the wild images using analysis by synthesis losses. These approaches only capture low frequency shape information with a fixed linear shape space. These resulting overly smooth reconstructions, which are unable to capture geometric details, such as expression dependent wrinkles, which are essential for realism and support analysis of human emotion. The advantage of using a 3D MM, however, is that these methods are robust to in the wild variations and are ready to be animated. But unlike DECA, lack detailed wrinkles. In terms of detailed reconstruction methods, most regression-based approaches follow a similar approach by first reconstructing the parameters of a statistical face model to obtain a coarse shape, followed by a refinement step to capture localized details. Some methods learn Winker displacement map from high resolution scans. Such high resolution scans are limited in terms of diversity. With DECA, we do not require scans and learn directly from millions of images. Other model-free methods which learn to regress wrinkles from in the wild images. These methods reconstruct the detailed meshes or surface normals that add detail to the coarse reconstructions. However, all these methods only reconstruct the fine scale details in non-occluded regions, causing visible artifacts in the presence of occlusions. Furthermore, none of these approaches explore how the recovery wrinkles change with varying expressions. In a nutshell, the wrinkles cannot be animated. 
In summary, existing works either produces smooth animatable models or winkers that cannot be animated. DECA is designed to give the best of both worlds. DECA produces robust, animatable, detailed displacement model with an accurate course shape regressor, learned in a fully end-to-end -end training framework without direct 3D supervision. DECA occupies a unique space. It takes a single in wild image as input and produces accurate course shape together with geometric facial details which both can be realistically animated. The demo alternates between the core shape and the detail shape with varying expressions across different viewing angles. This shows the effects of the animatable geometric details, which indicates DECA's potential in 3D avatar creation. Now, Let's have a close look at our DECA's architecture. DECA is built using an encoder-decoder architecture. The input image is regressed to several parameters corresponding to albedo, lighting, geometry, and our lower expression condition detail displacement. Our geometry prior is flame which is a 3D head model that combines separate linear identity shape and expression spaces with linear blend scanning and the post-dependent corrective blend shapes to articulate the neck, jaw, and eyeballs. Flame outputs a mesh with around 5,000 vertices. Following the blue arrows, a differentiable rendering produces a coarse facial image. This is compared with the input image using a landmark reprojection loss, a photometric L1 loss, and an identity loss. These losses train the network to produce a robust and accurate coarse shape reconstruction. We combine the coarse shape and the displacement map to obtain the detail shape. Following the red arrows, we're rendering the detailed facial image and compare it to the input image. A photometric L1 loss and an implicit diversified MRF loss are used to learn a displacement map representing the surface detail. Since these displacements are generated from a large latent space, the displacement map is complete, even if the input is self-occluded or occluded by other objects. We apply expression conditioning by directly concatenating the draw pose, the expression code with the detail code. However, we found such conditioning is not sufficient to control the expression one cause, known by the expression parameters. Therefore, we introduce a lower detail consistency loss to enforce the disentanglement of identity and expression detail. Our key observation is that the same person in two images should have both similar course geometry and personalized details. So the expression change does not change the detail code of an individual. If we take the detail code of one image of our person and replace it with the detail code from another image of the same person in a different expression, then it should have no effect on the rendered image. This loss is defined relative to the input image and the new rendered detailed facial image. Now we'd like to share some results. Here you see some test images with a wide variety of head poses, face shapes, expressions, and partial occlusions. DECA robustly reconstructs the detailed 3D face shape for the different images. 
For qualitative evaluation, let's compare our result to the other course reconstruction method like PRNet, RingNet, Den et al., FML, and 3DDFAV2. Comparing to the affirmation method, DECA can not only get a good core shape, but also fine geometric details, which make the reconstruction look more faithful to the input person. Some other methods like Extreme 3D, Facescape, Crossmoda are able to reconstruct the good details for some high quality images. However, they often fail in images with occlusions and extreme poses. In contrast to this, DECA is robust to a wide range of in the wild variations. We also evaluate our method on now challenge quantitatively. The benchmark evaluates the accuracy and robustness of 3D phase reconstruction and their variations in wheeling angle, lighting, and common occlusions. It contains more than 2,000 images of 100 subjects and a separate 3D head scan for each subject. The scan serves as ground truth for the evaluation, which measures the point to surface distances between the scan and the reconstruction after rigid alignment. Here we present the cumulative error curves and the error statistic. DECA ranks first in the now challenge and achieves a 9% lower mean shape reconstruction error compared to the previous state-of-the-art method. We do the comparison on Feng et al. 2018 evaluation as well. It's a challenge with 2,000 face images, including the high quality and low quality sets, and a reference 3D face scan for each subject. A protocol similar to now challenge is used for evaluation. As shown in the cumulative plots, DECA shows state-of-the-art performance. We would like to also show the effect of DECA's animatable details, giving images of source identity I and source expression E. DECA reconstruct the detail shapes and animated the detail shape of I with the expression of E. This synthesized the DECA expression appears nearly identical to the reconstructed same subject's reference detail shape. Using the reconstructed details of I instead and animating the core shape only results in visible artifacts. While DECA achieves state-of-the-art results for reconstructed face shape and provides novel animatable details, it has some limitations. For instance, DECA doesn't perform well on very blurry images, although training with millions of inner-wide images help DECA generalize to a wide range of ethnicities it can still fail for dark skin, especially in the NIP region. This suggests that more diverse training data and a better ability model are needed. Overall, given a single input image, DECA reconstructed a detailed 3D mesh that can be animated by changing the global pose and by varying flames expression and draw pose parameters. Codes and models are available. Thanks Thank for you your for attention. Your attention. See you. Bye bye. bye.